Hi guys, it's Good Friday and I am heading hard into Easter weekend. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. I am not looking forward to it because I adore chocolate and that is a nightmare. So I've already overcome challenge number one this weekend because I am dying to lose four pounds this week to take me to two stone. I am absolutely, fingers crossed, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be disappointed if I don't because so far I've been out with a friend, we went out, we had, um, we also went to like a, a cafe kind of thing, um, it was really, really nice, but she ordered um, a, like a toasted sea batter bread, it looked gorgeous and smelt divine, I didn't have any, I sat and I drank herbal tea and then she ordered, what did she order, oh she had a scone with butter, clotted cream and jam. Oh, I would have loved to have that. I also had to go into the cafe to order our second lot of drinks, which I had a green tea. And there were loads of Easter buns and cakes, which all looked completely divine. I have actually took a picture, which I'm gonna put in here. And I did not eat any of it. So this morning I had a cooked breakfast, all free. Oh no, it went all free. I had two slices of toast. Sorry, I've been drinking water and it's like giving me hiccups. Um, I had two slices of toast, which are my healthy bees. Um, then I went home and last night I made the most lovely, like it's a vegetable soup, but I put chickpeas in it and blitzed it all up. And it's, it's like, it almost tastes creamy. It's really nice. It's quite thick. And I put chunks of vegetables in as well. And I like a chunky soup. I forgot how much I liked it, actually. So I have had that for dinner. We have now come out in the car. I am drinking water while Oliver had a latte. And he has just gone into a takeaway to buy this, like, big kebab. I'm not. Do you feel guilty yet, Oliver? No, I don't. You enjoy your kebab? Yeah, I am. He's even asked me if I want anything, and I've said no. I'm kind of proud of myself for that because I don't know. It's so easy on a weekend, isn't it? Just to eat rubbish. Weekends are so hard. I'm so glad I get weighed on a Thursday and I head into the weekend fresh from getting weighed and feeling that, oh, motivation, I want to lose this much. Because then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of goes pretty fast. Well, it didn't when I had my birthday because I had a huge cheat. However, I did recover from that and I am now determined to be on plan. Um, I, I have had no calories. I mean, that's obviously I've had calories, but I've had no since today. I'm drinking my water. I'm quite happy. I'm not feeling hungry. We're now going to pop into Oliver's dad's. I'm going to sit there for about an hour um, and talk because he's not seen him all week and it is easter so i am dodging chocolate all weekend i do really need to go and buy the kids an easter egg and oliver i haven't done that yet um other than that i'm doing pretty okay i've been watching loads of like weight loss youtube stories and weight loss journeys and i'm feeling like right i'm motivated for this i'm gonna carry on and crack on and i am heading towards that two stone barrier so four more pounds and I've lost two stone and I am desperate to achieve that. More so is the new stone bracket. So I think I've got five, wait a minute. I think I've got, five, oh God, I don't know how much I weigh at the minute actually. I think I've got about five or six pounds to lose. Probably maybe like half a, oh no. I think I've got five and a half pounds to lose. God, that one took some maths, didn't it? Five and a half pounds to lose to get through to that next stern barrier, which I know that's nothing for some people, but I am in love with the fact that I've gone, there were like 20, like I started off in the 25s, dropped to the 24s. I'm now in the 23s and I'm desperate for the 22s. I see, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I love going down the stern barriers because... I don't know. I just, do you know what? I am dying, and I mean absolutely dying, to see a one at the start of my weight. For other people, you would be mortified if you had like 19, 13 show up on your weighing scales. 
and I completely get that and I will probably be there and dying to get out of the 19s when I'm in them but just at the minute I am dying to get out of the 20s absolutely dying and I've got well I'm 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 edging away at it aren't I I think I've got like three stern to lose to get there aren't I because I'm in the 23s so well I've got over three stern to go however I'm, I'm doing this i've got to do this isn't it crazy i've started this and i've got like five freaking stern to lose before i can get out of the bloody 20s so we're aiming for the two stern down and then i'm gonna well i'm gonna just aim for them stern barriers i'm dying for it it makes me laugh because every week when she asks like what do you want to lose this week like my sarcastic self wants to say i want to lose five stern please like it's as though you can put it in as a request I can't control what my body does. I can control what my mouth does and my head does and control what's going into my mouth. I can't control whether or not it's going to drop weight this week or not because I know from previous times of losing weight, although I am a bit old, well, a lot older actually this time, that even if I'm good as gold, some weeks I am going to maintain and some weeks it's going to get to a point where I'm losing one pound, two pound, blah, 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 blah. Yes, then I am going to try and speed it up by doing a lot more exercise and eating a lot more fresh fruit and veg and cooking and eating more clean and i'm going to try my own cutting down on carbs i am desperately going to try whatever i can to speed this process up but i am very conscious i am on countdown to a holiday and um, we go the first of september so i've got the first of september to lose as much weight as i physically can not because i want to look good because i'm fully aware that i'm not going to look good because i'm too fat to even achieve that in that amount of time however i am hoping well i've just I've, i think i've spoke about this i've got a severe fear of fitting in an airplane seat i am absolutely terrified of it and i've never admitted that to anybody because i always pretend to everybody and tell everybody that i'm all right with being fat and i i like i try not to like stop me do stuff and all the rest of it massive fear now is getting on an airplane so i'm hoping that i can get to a point where i feel a bit more comfortable doing that well i ain't got a choice really so right i will see you later see how i get on this weekend